everybody. This is Becca from Empowering Pumps and Equipment. I'm very excited to have Mike McClure with Load Controls with us. Mike, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, Becca. Great to be with you. I'm Mike McClure. I'm the president of Load Controls. Uh, Load Controls has been around for 38 years. We manufacture motor pump uh, sensors and controls to tell how much work motors are doing. Um, people use those to protect pumps. They use them to protect clarifiers, mixers, sludge collectors, uh, a lot of different applications in the water world. Yes, and you know, really what you're doing has been very enlightening for us and being able to share what you guys are doing with the industry. And as you know, October is a huge month for water wastewater and especially with West Tech coming up. How would you say that load controls impacts the space for the better? Yeah, we're also looking forward to October and being at WEFTEC uh, this year. Um, initially, people used our products to tell how much work motors and pumps were doing. So if you had a large mixer uh, or sludge collector uh, and it encountered some type of an obstacle, it could shut that off because it could tell bad things were happening to the motor. And that protects a lot of the downstream linkages and big mechanisms that these small motors move. Um, but what we're finding is a lot of the work that we're doing today is expanding beyond just motor protection into uh, energy efficiency, looking at how much energy their, um, their utility is drawing. You know, you hear a lot of talk about 2% of all of the energy in the U.S. is used for water treatment. And by instrumenting, putting motor controls, motor power sensors in your environment, you're able to tell how much each one of those pumps and motors uh, is doing at any point in time. And we started working with the University of Massachusetts in Amherst uh, and their water and energy technology lab to instrument one of our local uh, water utilities, uh, not only for motor power, but also for, for uh, water quality. So we're just starting to get some data back. And by the time WEFTEC rolls around, we'll have some interesting things to talk about. Uh, and so we'll actually be in the discovery zone, uh, which sounds like a place you'd bring your kids to, to play with jellyfish or something. Um, and it's all about um, newer companies, newer approaches, taking technology and applying it to water and water quality. And it's really exciting to be kind of at that intersection of energy uh, and water quality. Uh, so I think those are the most of the things that we have going on in that space. That's amazing. And I mean, you're definitely not a newer company, but kind of going into this um, avenue of energy savings and really monitoring that energy and what you're putting out um, is definitely new. So it's exciting that you're going to be involved in all of that. Yeah, we're, we're very excited about it. It's been great working with the University of Massachusetts team. They've been a great partner uh, in helping us get more information, get smarter about that space as well. Um, so we're looking forward to it. That's amazing. So how yeah. would you say that you're best able to support water professionals in their everyday roles? I think probably two things when we, we deal with water professionals. The first is instrumenting anything that mixes water, anything that moves water, um, we're able to tell what's going on, not only with the motor, but within the process. If you've got it connected to an aerator or a sludge collector or uh, some type of a mixer or a grinder, we can tell what's going on um, downstream from that motor by, by measuring the load on the motor. So if you've got a, we had a local utility that had uh, a big clarifier and the clarifier went off the rails and essentially got jammed um, and bent a lot of the clarifier. Um, by having a load control connected to that motor, we're able to detect when that load starts to rise beyond an acceptable level and turn that motor off uh, and stop the process before damage occurs. So we've got some very large utilities that use our products for that. And the other is in the area of pumping, which you know is always close to our heart. That's our biggest business is being attached to pumps. And just simple things like if you've got a pump that uh, that starts to clog because of cooking oil in, in the water and you've got a, we had one customer that had a, a pressure um, a sensor connected to that pump. And when the pressure went up, they're like, all right, we need to take it apart, clean it out and uh, put it back into service again. 
Well, that pressure detector was also getting clogged with that same cooking oil. Because our stuff installs back in the motor control cabinet away from the whole process, we're immune from things like that. So I would say protecting uh, motors, attaching them to pumps. And then the third area that we're, we're starting to spend more time in is um, because when you connect uh, one of our products to a pump, we can tell how much horsepower that pump is using. If you've got a 10 horsepower pump and you're routinely using three horsepower, maybe next time when you rebuild that pump, you buy a, a five horsepower motor and you save energy that way. Or you look at peak energy and the surcharges that individual pumps have on that energy. Um, or you're just looking at trends of energy energy usage over time. Are you getting better or worse? Is your process getting better or worse? Um, as I said, 2% of all the energy we use, we generate is used for this process. And about 80% of that, 60 to 80% is in the pumping space. The ability to know which pumps are using most of the energy, what time of day, uh, we think is going to have a lot of insight into how you can save energy uh, for your utility going forward. Yeah, definitely a lot of different ways that you're able to support water professionals, which is great because, you know, one size doesn't fit all and it's great to have that diversity um, with what you're able to really support people in. Yeah. Why don't no you doubt. tell me about, you know, the technology behind your controls and, you know, how that's really be able to make an impact for people? Yeah, I think so. We talked about some of the applications, whether it's protecting the motors, protecting the pumps or the linkages that it's connected to. All of this comes from we connect to the electrical connections that go into those motors. So it's done back in the motor control center. It's very uh, non-invasive, non-disruptive, um, not impacted by the environment. So that's a great way to sort of grab information about your process in a way that doesn't require you cutting into pipes or being out into an environment that might be uh, more challenging to have a sensor uh, placed. So the technology is we measure the motor power. Uh, it's very linear with the workload. We've been doing that for 38 years, as I said. Uh, we've got a lot of different systems, a lot of different solutions for whatever it is you're looking to do in the water uh, industry. You know, whether it's you want to track clogging or ragging in a pump, and again, we can we can do that. Um, you know, we've got a lot of different applications um, that that technology is applicable to. Wonderful. Well, Mike, why don't you tell me what the best way for people to connect with you and then also the company? Yeah, the easiest, uh, I'm Mike at Load Controls, uh, very simple. Uh, we're online at loadcontrols.com. As I said, we'll be at Weftech. Our booth is 3261. I know nobody's going to keep track of that. We're in the discovery zone. Uh, we won't have any animals to pet, but we'll have some interesting water technology to talk about. Uh, we'll have some of the, the team from UMass on site as well. So it'll be a good sort of... Uh, high energy uh, group to talk about what we're learning about water quality and the link with uh, with energy usage. So I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun. It is exciting. I'm a little bummed that there won't be animals, but I'm very excited <laughs> to, to see you at the show. And of course, if you are at West Tech, you want to make sure to stop by and see Mike. Um, if not, then you can check them out online. And, you know, Mike, thank you so much for your time today. It was really great talking with you. My pleasure, Becca. Looking forward to seeing you.